up everybody, Brian here again. Um, start of a new year, and I'm kind of going through the process now of kind of rebranding the YouTube channel and myself in general. Um, so it occurred to me <clears throat> when I started doing these videos that uh, I didn't really explain who I was. Uh, not that I'm anybody big right now or anything like that. Uh, but essentially, you guys should probably know that I have been working with games now for at least a decade in one way or the other. I uh, write for High School Reviews right now. Um, <laughs> have a lot of experience with it. Um, so that's basically about it. That's all I can really say about it. And um, I'm a big fan of all consoles. I'm not someone who uh, prefers one over another. I like all of them just fine. They all have their redeeming qualities and they all have their faults. So I'm not a fanboy. I'm never going to say, you know, oh, Microsoft sucks or anything like that. That's not who I am. I think that's Personally, I think it's kind of shitty journalism, so and I'm going to try not to do that. If I do, call me out on it. Uh, but I have all the consoles uh, for for this and for the writing job that I have. So, um, yeah, so I'm always looking for new ideas, uh, things to talk about. And today, I wanted to talk about um, my 2015 predictions. Now, I say predictions, and basically what that means, <laughs> basically what it is, like, I'm going to tell you a few things I think might happen. And most of them are just going to be, like, way out there, and they're, you're going to say there's no effing way that could happen. You're probably right, it probably can't happen. But wouldn't it be fun if it kind of did, or not, I don't know. So at any rate, um, I'm going to list them off in no particular order, and I'm going to drag my computer screen towards me a little bit because I'm unprofessional, I didn't memorize half of these. So, we're going to start with the first one. I think that uh, we'll possibly see Super Mario Galaxy 3 uh, coming up soon uh, for the Wii U or, any, or some Nintendo console of, of some sort. So I highly doubt they're going to go back to 3D World and I highly doubt they're going to do a side-scrolling one. Um, so I think uh, another Galaxy game would be really good for the, for the uh, Nintendo system. But speaking of which, one of my predictions, and it's probably just way out there, is that um, Due to a slip of console sales, again, for Nintendo, because let's face it, they haven't had the best luck with the Wii U, that they actually tease the next system uh, this year at some point, probably E3 or one of their Nintendo Directs. And um, not that they don't have good games coming out. They got a Kirby game, they got a Yoshi game, they got, you know, Zelda um, is coming this year. Uh, quote unquote. So, I mean, they have good titles, but I don't know if it's going to be enough, and they have to, maybe they have to start looking towards the future a little bit more. So, I'm not saying that they're going to say, "Here's our new console, and it's coming out this year, or next year." I just think they're going to you're going to start seeing a lot of uh, things about a new Nintendo console uh, this year at some point. Which brings me to um, the Legend of Zelda. I believe that the Zelda will not be coming out this year. I think um, it's going to be delayed a bit. And also to the point, too, that if Nintendo did kind of announce a new console uh, coming out uh, 2016 or whatever, there's a high possibility that uh, The Legend of Zelda would be pushed back because of that. And the reason I say that is because back when The Twilight Princess came out, Twilight Princess was supposed to come out way before it ever finally did. But when it did, it was right, when the, right around the time the Wii came out, and it came out on the GameCube at the same time. So, I mean, that was that was positioning, you know, strategically. So, it's not to say that they're going to do that again, but they could. So, there's that. Uh, another one. Uh, Bethesda announces a new game, but it's not Elder Scrolls or Fallout. Now, I know that this probably isn't going to happen. I... I <laughs> Chances are it's going to be Fallout 4, which is what everybody wants anyway. So I hope it does happen, but don't be. I wouldn't be surprised if it was something else completely like a whole new IP for uh, Bethesda at this point. Okay, next. Assassin's Creed Victory, which is the kind of announced game because it was leaked through Kotaku, um, which is set in uh, late 19th century London, I believe. I believe that game will be the best one of the franchise, both critically and uh, user-wise. And the reason I say that is because typically with the Assassin's Creed games, like every other Assassin's Creed game is usually is usually good uh, for the most part. And I think they'll learn enough. And I think I think that the setting is intriguing, but I mean, that's my own personal bias. I have kind of a thing for that time era uh, in London. So um, I, I do think that, uh, God, I hope, I hope it will be good, but I think it probably will be. Okay, next, The Order 1886 PS4 exclusive. I think it's going to be uh, open to mediocre reviews. I mean, 
I hate to put it like that. I hope it doesn't. I'm, I am looking forward to playing the game. I'm just afraid it's going to be one of those games that looks great. I mean, visually, it looks spectacular. Uh, but uh, maybe story-wise or even um, gameplay length-wise, it just won't be up to what people expect it to be. So, uh, I also think that in 2015, at some point, it might not happen in 2015, it might be 2016, but I think they will put out a Gears of War Phoenix Trilogy uh, collection for the Xbox One, uh, which is the first three Gears of War, hence the Phoenix Collection Market Phoenix. So I would be surprised if they did do that. And I also think they'll probably do the same thing with Uncharted, more than likely. Uh, so there is that. Next, No Man's Sky. Everybody's like looking forward to it. Everybody's like, yeah, No Man's Sky. I think, and now I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna word this as correctly as I can, okay? And that is, I think No Man's Sky will not be received as well as people think it will. I just got a message. So, um, and the reason I say that is, it's not that I don't think No Man's Sky is gonna be good in any which way, I just think it's gonna be so overhyped that people are just kind of like, okay, and that's it. That's what I'm afraid of. I hope it doesn't happen, don't get me wrong. I'm not here trying to bash No Man's Sky or anything like that. It's a beautiful looking game, and what they're trying to do is very uh, revolutionary. I just think that the overhype is gonna cause it to not score as well as it probably should. So there's that. Um, I think the concept of playable trailers uh, will come back into play thanks to the PT demo. I think that was a great way to introduce a game, uh, especially with the gaming consoles now. Instead of just showing a trailer and announcing it, give them this thing that you know they have to work towards to see, uh, you know what the game is or what the or what they're trying to tease. Um, I think that was brilliant. I think we'll at least see it maybe one more time, maybe a couple times uh, this year later in the year. So I hope it does happen because that was fun. And I just want to put put out there if they had charged 99 cents for uh, PT, that would have been on one of my game of the year lists. So I'm just gonna put that out there. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Rare comes back with uh, one of their franchises. Now, they just had like the Windows uh, Windows 10 announcements, you know, with Cortana and all that, but Phil Spencer was wearing the Battletoad shirt, so I'm going to count that, but I also think there's going to be something else too in the realms of, say, like Perfect Dark or uh, maybe, hopefully, Banjo Kazooie, uh, maybe Viva Pinata. I think there might be something else out there in the pipeline, so we'll see about that. Um, I think there will be a slimmed down console reveal soon. Uh, hopefully with the Xbox One, because the Xbox One is massive anyway, so hopefully they'll come out with a slim or announce a slim this year. I think at least one of the two consoles will. I just, I would think it would be Microsoft, but maybe not, who knows. So the next one, I think is going to be kind of way out there and it's probably not going to happen, but in, like, I would, but in my mind, it would be so awesome if it did. Okay, so they have a conference like E3 or something like that and you see GLaDOS on the screen from Portal, or her, or its voice, you know, and it's being real snarky or whatever with the audience, but what you think is like a Portal 3 trailer ends up actually being a Half-Life 3 teaser. Everybody would go nuts. Either that or people would be pissed because there's not really another Portal game coming out, one of the two, I don't know. Uh, but I don't think that will happen, I think that's more of a hope than it is anything, not so much a prediction, but it would be kind of fun nonetheless. Okay. PS4 and PS Vita will get a price drop uh, this year, I think, to keep up with Microsoft, since they basically put their console at that uh, 350 price point, or 349, whatever. So I think that will happen. I think they'll try to keep up, especially now that uh, Microsoft's consoles have been the top selling consoles the last two months now, I think, uh, November and December because of that price drop. Okay. Game of the Year of 2015 will not be a AAA title, I think it will be an independent title. I mean, that could be uh, Ori in the Blind Forest, it could be No Man's Sky, it could be The Witness. We, you know, there's all these different independent, game, independent games that people are looking forward to coming out that could just, you know, take the, sh you know, take the show of 2015. Um, I would like to see that. Ha I would like to see that happen personally. Um, and when I say like 2015 game of the year, I don't mean just like my personal one, or even like an individual or like an individual entity like the Game Awards or something like that. I just think on a lot of lists from different publications or websites that it will definitely be a, a game of the year uh, type of thing. So that's what I think will happen. Pro might not. Who knows? All uh, right, Mighty Number no. Nine will be the Mega Man game we never knew we wanted. That's right, Mega Man not or uh, Mighty Number no. Nine was like Mega Man. Uh, same creator uh, kickstarted. It's he says it's done. It's getting ready to release. 
Um, I have high hopes for this game, and I think it will catch on, a lot, especially with a lot of old school gamers. Um, I think it's been a long time since we had a really, really good uh, Mega Man light game. And um, I don't think this is going to be exactly like Mega Man, but I think it's very Mega Man-ish, uh, for sure. So, I hope it's good. I really do. And then, I know, one of the last ones is that I believe Telltale Games, who is going off the deep end with their games now, like, a, they have a mine, they're working on a Minecraft uh, Telltale episodic game. I don't know how that's going to work, but okay. Um, but if they're going to do any franchises that probably need a game on a console, why not use Doctor Who? Have a Doctor Who Telltale game. I think that would be amazing. And I don't think I'm the only one out there that would disagree with that. Um, and finally, I think that Battlefield Hardline, everybody, there's a lot of, you know, people saying like, well, it's just a Battlefield 4 expansion of some sort. And it very well may be, but I don't think it will be. I think it will be more than just that. I, ha I have a hard time believing that Visceral Games would be working on a Battlefield game just for it to feel like an expansion of another game. That's a that's a that's a very talented studio, you know, Dead Space. So, once again, I just once again, it might be one of those cases. I don't think it will. I think it would be an actually legitimate, decent standalone game. And so, uh, that's it. That's all my predictions. What are your predictions? Are mine stupid? Probably are. Some of them are. Some of them are out there. If I really wanted to piss people off, I could have said, like, yeah, The Last Guardian comes out in 2015, but it's on the PlayStation Vita. I don't actually think that's going to happen. I thought about that, but it probably won't happen. Anyway, let me know. Like the video. Subscribe to Nerd Theory. And um, I'm going to come back uh, from time to time. Hope I want to do this uh, weekly, and I, I hope I'm able to. Uh, but if you have any questions, if you have um, thoughts about top possible topics, uh, let me know. Put them in the comments below. Uh, as for now, I'm Brian. You're watching Nerd Theory Channel. See you later.